Leaders Podcast, Steve Khan. We got the homie Rob ba- Bass. Bass, yeah. Bass. Rob Bass. Bass. Not Rob Bass. I almost said that. Bass in the hey. building. One of our local uh, sneaker customizers. Yeah. Specializes in nothing but dope fans. You've been working with a lot of hitters lately, too. Oh, I yeah. I saw you got something for going with Migos. Oh, yeah. The, the, the stuff that I'm about to cook up for the Migos is about to be crazy, man. But All fans? Nah, nah, no? nah I, I do like Adidas and Nikes and Forces and stuff like that, but I mainly push out bands because that's one of my favorite sneakers. That's it. That's what I wear, and I get a nice little discount on them, so. I'll tell you, those, you know. Louis, Vuitton, <laughs> those Louis Vuitton bands are some of the dopest customs I've ever seen in life. Oh, man, thank you, man. I'm, those Louis I mean, Vuitton bands <laughs> go hard. Man, if it wasn't for Supreme and Louis Vuitton getting together and doing that collab, like, I probably wouldn't have made it because yeah. uh, I did do a pair of... Uh, Bake Louis Vuitton old schools, but it didn't really get no static, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, I was just gonna do a whole series of like streetwear meets, you know, luxury, yeah. and that's what it was gonna be. But then, after I did the bake uh, Louis Vuittons, then Supreme and Louis Vuitton, they had the leaks coming out, and then finally the fashion show popped off, so it was like, I'm gonna have to capitalize on that. Oh, yeah. Super tough. Well, then, right now, it's doing well. That's oh, cool. that, that's, that's my best seller at the moment. The Louis? How long does it take you to customize a pair? It has to take a long time. To be real, I can have a pair done in about 10 hours if I wanted to. But like, when you sit at the crib and customize shoes all day. Oh, I better get hectic. You get a little tired of it. You might you, you might need another artist with you. You, you might need another assistant. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I need an assistant, man, but it's finding somebody who's actually good enough to bring that skill forward because I don't want to push out crappy work, man. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get up there with Vic and then, right. you know, surpass him hopefully. But Vic got years in the game, and I'm trying to catch up to him. So, so how, where are you from originally? I'm from Michigan, Battle Creek. Oh, okay. Yeah. I always thought you were from California. Uh, and, and everybody says that because uh, I do a lot of dancing. I know. The, I always see the videos that, you crumping and yeah, stuff. Yeah, <laughs> the, the, the crump videos, like, uh, people think I'm from California, but nah. How you get into the crumping? I, I just like stumbled across the videos and I was like, yo, is that, is that bass? <laughs> I was like, no, that's not him. I kept going and then it was like a part two. And I right. was like, I think that's him dancing. How you get into that? Man, it was, uh, I mean, I've I always been into dancing as far as like uh, breaking goes, this hip hop in general. And then uh, when the movie Rise came out, that's when like, oh, Rob first yeah. got introduced world right. I was just excited by it, like yo this looks dope I need to get into it and I was a freshman in high school in 2004 so it's just like man like yeah. I, I need to jump on this and then it was cool I was in I was in Phoenix at the time I was going to North High School I was battling them with the well, crew, but North High School North yeah <laughs> I went to South huh? I went to uh, South Mountain Jaguars yeah yeah but uh I, I did a uh, battling there and stuff, and then uh, at the age of 16, wound up having a kid, left oh, Arizona, really? yeah, left Arizona, uh, came back like three years later, and then um, I, I had met up with uh, this guy named Ghost, uh, he does a lot of dancing with the Harlem Globetrotters and stuff now, but uh, I linked up with him, and then he introduced me to a whole bunch of other crumb dancers out here, and then we just started moving from there. That's dope. Yeah. Who have you worked with, sneaker-wise? Who have you, uh, I know you've touched a few celebrities, man. Who can you say? Uh, Fabulous, uh, Ty Dolla Sign, uh, Tiger, the Migos, of course, uh, DJ Clark Kent, which is, oh, that's, 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 that's like, super tight. Yeah, DJ Clark Kent was just like, how'd they find you? Like, how'd they? It's Instagram, man. It's that's just it? like using hashtags and tagging them. And my posts and stuff like that, so it's like eventually they're gonna see it. You right. Know? So I was just fortunate enough that uh, DJ Clark Kent had came across one of my posts, and then uh, he wound up getting some work done for his nieces, which was dope. Like just being able to talk to him and be like, "Yo, right. you, want, you want me to customize this joint? Like, right. like I can get it done ASAP. I, I done everything I was doing. Was like, yo, I could have it done in like four days. Like, right. I, I'm getting it to you. You know what I'm saying? And then uh, one more artist. Not an artist, but uh, the porn star, uh, Yasmin D. Leon. Okay. Yeah, I, I did some work for her uh, recently, some Air Max 90s, okay. which was dope, you know. 
I'm really trying to break into the porn industry. Like, that's one thing I really want to get involved with because uh, it was just always entertaining as a right. kid. You know what I'm saying? It was like, <laughs> as a kid, it was always entertaining, but I, I want to do like the production part of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, the okay. filming and stuff. No, I don't want to be in it. Oh, you, know, I don't you want to be an actor? No, no, no. I don't want to be acting in it. Like, just for producing something like would be dope, you know? But yeah, just, just to name those celebrities, like, that's who I've done work for. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it, it sucks because uh, Todd Dolla Sign hasn't posted the shoes that I did for him. Fabulous didn't post the shoes that I did for him. But it's just like, really? whatever, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, see, that's that's the worst, man. Yeah. Because, like, that's kind of like, it's like unspoken that you want them to do. Right, you right. Know? So you would say, though, it's worth tagging yeah, people. Yeah, oh, okay. But, you know, I, I, I got videos of, like, you know, uh, Fab with this, like, holding the shoes. Right. Checking them out and stuff like that. So like that's just little stuff that I could take and post on my own pages like I'm out here working, you feel right. me? Like So do you do this full time? That's it? Or? Yeah, this full time, like really? wow. I don't do nothing else, like I eat off of this. Really? Yeah. And it's yeah, been you, pretty good for you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got the perfect name for porn too though, man. <laughs> They'd be like, you heard of Rob Rob Bass and be like, Yeah, he be pounding. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were supposed to come on. I thought you were supposed to come on earlier on our show. You were, you were supposed to come I, on. I was, man, but I was up over there, man. I mean, no, 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 like like last oh, year. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think something man, came up. You got, you got honestly, held up I, I, just, I just got busy, man. Like, yeah. when it comes to the sticker stuff, man, it's just, it's consistent, man. And uh, I'm not going to say I get tired of it because this is what I love to do. But well, you need a break. That, yeah, you know, sometimes you need that break or whatever. So, like, I had shut down my web store just to get prepped for this event. And then I'm gonna open it back up and take orders in, but then it's just like when you start doing shoes that's repetitive, it's just like right. you know, you get tired of it, but then at the same time it's just like you get that PayPal notification like I had right, watched you know? <laughs> I had watched one of you when you were like live on Facebook or one of them. Right. You were paying, I think it was a Jordan one or something. It was something you were painting, and I said, Jesus, the patience to just paint like oh, that yeah, it's all day. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, and you were just kept going, and you were like, put it down. I think it was like a, actually, you know what? It may not have been a sneaker. It was something, but it was African, because I can't remember what it was. Or maybe it was I, I was doing the back of my couch. I, it was something I, like that. I was that. Painting the back oh, of my couch. okay. Yeah. It was something, and I was yeah. like, man, I'm like, he's definitely dedicated to what he does. But yeah. we like, the vans. I think oh, that's I love such vans. a dope oh, dude. aspect to it. Like, right, right. So everybody's that, doing a Jordan and stuff. Oh yeah. yeah, the vans are dope. And so, and your stuff, like you do do like some limited, like a, a limited size run, but most of it's made to order, right? Right, right. Okay. Yeah. I mean, but or you, or, did, or you're like, are your pre-orders just like for the spots open? So you just do 10, 10 shoes. Yeah. Like, uh, like with the Louis Vuitton Supreme, I'm doing a skate high zip version of it. Yeah. But that's I the one that's it. on display over there. Or no. No, it's a Louis Vuitton monogram custom, but okay. uh, my my girl actually has on the, the Supreme LV joints. Oh, okay. So, uh, but uh, I'm only doing seven pairs of those, so it's just like, you know, if you put your order in for your size, like once it's seven of them, I'm not doing it. It's a wrap. Like, that's it because like it's, I know I'm gonna get tired of it, and if I get oh, yeah. tired of it, I don't want to lose the passion for it, and then uh, I just like to get into the doing more creative works, and which is very rare when you look at my Instagram page because it's like, make this, make that, make this, uh, and then very rare it'd be like, oh shoot, like you did a pair of Adidas. Make this, make that, make this. <laughs> oh shoot, you did a pair of Forces. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I, I still want to keep that creativity aspect, which Absolutely. is nice to to get when people come to me and like, just do whatever. You know, oh, like, okay, I was going to ask yeah. you. So you get that? Yeah, like uh, my man's right here, my man uh, Josh, he had brought me some uh, the Dover Street Market here. Dover Street Market Dunk Highs. Oh, okay. And was just like, I don't even wear these, do whatever to it. And I was just like, bang. And it took me about two months, but I did a safari theme on it that came out. It was just, just beautiful, you know what I'm saying? And I got the inspiration from a, a pair of Air Maxes. I'm not sure what model they was, but it was a pair of safari Air Maxes that had like the multiple, uh, it had the pony hair on it. But oh, like, yeah, the multiple, like the, the animals? Yeah, 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 so, had yeah. Those, so that, that's what, uh, the, the animal pack. That, yeah. That's what made me want to do those. That's fire. So, I mean, how hard is it to like sew over that stuff? It's a process. It is, yeah, I bet. <laughs> it's a process because you gotta you gotta measure it out. Like 
you, you don't just take the static and put it up on there. You gotta, uh, you gotta like take tape, uh, oh, yeah. like masking tape, Absolutely. put it on there, cut it out, and then put it on the pattern. And then you gotta like cut it just slightly bigger than what you just taped out. And then you gotta put that on top of it, make sure it fits, sew it in there, and it's just oh, it's that's a process. The problem, yeah. And then especially when you gotta get your hand in there and like put the needle through and then yep. pull it out and then stick that same needle oh, back. Oh, so you're not even using a sewing machine, like, like your hand oh, stitching yeah, the hand stitching. Oh, yeah, man. we actually just saw a picture of this dunk that he said that he customized, and it was fire. Fire. Yeah. Huh? So, um, how you feel about Phoenix SneakerCon? Is it good? Oh, Phoenix SneakerCon is on point. Uh, in this year, have you been to other ones? I, I haven't been to any other SneakerCons. Uh, yeah. I always seen them. I always seen them and was just like, yo, I got to go to one. Right. But uh, SneakerCon is one of the biggest sneaker shows there is out there and I knew it was going to be a good turnout because of what it is but honestly I like to support the local events uh, oh, yeah. you know Heat and Soul Summit right. uh, yep. you'll be there in April Fest. yeah I'm, I'm going to be there I'm going to be in the customs competition uh, oh the yeah. customs competition is at Desert the Showdown yeah. oh, I thought it was going to be here oh no, okay it's just at oh, Desert Showdown okay. yeah that's right yeah. that's right okay so uh, that should be dope I'm, I'm looking to take home that title especially after losing a bit he just sold something more. Really? Yes. I don't even remember that. Yes. I don't remember either. It, it, it wasn't, we wasn't doing nothing live. I didn't even understand the rules of it or anything like that. It was just one of those, uh, I guess you just show up. You, you do the custom at home. You show up. Oh. And it's on display. And then boom, like, people vote for it. Oh, I thought, so, like, so you're going to be doing the custom at the show? Yeah, now? we're, we're going to be live at oh. the show. Oh, wow. Hours, painting, painting. Oh, damn. Yeah. So I, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting myself mentally prepared for that. I was gonna say, but, you got some up your sleeve yet? Man, I don't even know what I'm doing. That's the crazy thing. Is it gonna thing. be a van? Like, no, uh, we, we got the theme. We got the theme. Do they pick the shoe? Yeah, they're, they're gonna provide the shoe. Oh, okay. Uh, they, they said it's gonna be a Jordan 1, and uh, it's a desert theme, but it's just like, it's so many things you can do with a desert theme. Oh, yeah, theme, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you don't wanna be like, where you're competing Everybody else, stuff. yeah. You gotta be out of this world, and uh, the only person that I know that signed up is British Customs, and dude's work is crazy. Like, really, man. Like, he he told me he was only seven months in the game, and I looked at it and I was like, nah. Like, you you lying? You lying? Like, dude, dude is gonna give me a run for my money, but he hella cool. Uh, we just collabed on the Jordan Five, so hopefully he gets his half done pretty soon, and then we'll have that at display at Desert Showdown. But that's that's all I know that I'm competing against for the moment, like, hopefully other customizers come out and want to compete, so it can be more fun, yeah, you know? It looks it's dope. It's about yeah. four of you right now, right? Three, four? It's only two of us, from what oh, I know. Two? So Vic, is, Vic know. isn't signed up? Vic is judge. He's a judge. Oh, judge. Yeah. yeah. Him and, yeah. like, Showman Bostic and somebody else are judging. Uh, gotcha. What you call dude that runs the UN? Um, JC. JC, yeah. Okay. He's judging as well. And uh, it's two more of the judges. Really? I don't know. Hey, yeah, they need more customizers. That'd be dope. Right. I want to see a dope, real though. battle. Yeah. Right, right. That desert theme is kind of hard, right? Yeah. I mean, I, I know what I want to do, so hopefully it just comes out perfectly in right. my head and I can throw it on the canvas. Absolutely. And then Absolutely. just make it happen. Well, sure, man. We need to get you in the studio, bro. Yeah, for sure. Man, I like your energy, though. Man, like, you, you should have seen me up there, man. Like, <laughs> man, I, I, I be amped. Like, you don't understand. Like, my girl gets annoyed with me at home. <laughs> Growing up, uh, Buster Rhymes was one of my favorite artists, so I was always right. into that. Ooh, ah, like, the, the whole loud aspect. Was like, I want to be just like him. Like, right. I got to be loud everywhere I go, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had the dreadlocks and everything at one point. But that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> that's another day. We'll say, we'll well, we have to get studio. you in and hear all the stories. Yeah. Right, right, man. I, I, I got so many, man. I should write a book, man. I know doc if Lifetime does a documentary on my life, it's gonna be on point. You know what's funny? <laughs> when people say stuff like that, like write a book and things like that, I'm like, I look at the people around here and how much love they get. Some of it's a little weird for right. me, but it's like, you know what? If they can just get on YouTube and make a video for 10 minutes and like have people, people love falling at their knees, oh, yeah. write a book. Do yeah. anything. Right. Like, because it's. Teach me. Yeah. Like, whatever. I'm so. trying to get some of that YouTube money, man. Absolutely. I, I know. Man. Man. You don't do nothing on YouTube? I did at one point, but it gets kind of hard when you got to shoot your own videos, edit them, do the music, upload it, then you got to answer messages, do customs. 
package customs, ship them out, all it just like it becomes too much. It's just like you gotta pick and choose oh, yeah. what, what you really want to do, or whatever. So I was like, I'm gonna chill on the YouTube. So hopefully I, I, I can pick it back up because I know I can get some views. I, I'm just trying oh, to get some I'd watch show. a Rob Face vlog. No, you'd get some views. I, I'm, I'm trying to get that that money. Yeah. You know, everybody else out here just yeah, man. Man, we trying too. We, we trying too. But uh, we appreciate you sitting down with Absolutely. us. Absolutely. Oh, no problem, man. You're busy, man. We got to get you in the studio. Oh, for sure, man. For sure. For sure. Where, you, where you, what part of town you live in? Uh, I stayed right by Metro Center Mall. Yeah, okay, remember? Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. right. Yeah. We were at Metro, and we didn't have no recording equipment. Yeah. And we were on so like, Space Jam release. Oh, yeah, that Space Jam release was stupid. <laughs> it was. Uh, do you rock Jordan and stuff? I don't think I've ever seen you I, wear Jordan. I don't. Honestly. Or anything. Honestly, I don't. I believe in It's Chuck Taylor's, I think. No, um. I, I used to be real big on Nike SB. Oh, Nike, right. I, I used to love Nike SB, but during the the tape box era, yep. like they switched up the padding on right. it, yep. the comfort of it, it changed. Puffy. It just, yep. Yeah, it's just like I, I couldn't. It started, I couldn't started getting wider. It started yeah. getting wider and wider, and I was like, and, and then they lost a lot of the padding that was there too, and I was just like, I can't get behind this. So every once in a while, we get the urge, but then it's like, man, like ah. Yeah. I would say yeah, the blue box era was the last great era. Of and we were, talking about, we were talking about Vans too, because we love rocking Vans, I but love they Vans. get so dirty. It's like I don't hard it. It's sort of like the hardest shoe to clean. Right. That white is so hard to clean. Well, these Supreme, these Supreme mids are fire. Right. Yeah. Rob got on the pink Supreme mids that just dropped two weeks ago? Yeah, two, two weeks, weeks ago. ago. They are fire flames. So we go, yeah, we appreciate it, man. Oh, thank you very much. And they so are anyway, fire the homie Rob, flames. Rob Bass. We appreciate you coming through. Right, no we want to get you, you in the studio. Hell yeah. Oh, let's get a picture of your thing. Yeah, let's get a picture of it. That's sneaked it.